I want this video to be my, my most viewed video. I want it to be my most shared video, my most liked or disliked video. I want this to be the video that kind of just like wakes up everybody in the multiplayer Call of Duty community and just gets them to see what the fuck is truly wrong with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer. If you guys do enjoy this video, man, please share it. Please get this around because this is like... This is t took me a lot of time to jot down everything I want to talk about in this video. It's going to be a long video, no matter how I try to execute it, man. I'm just going to go through it quick, though, as quick as I can. I'm going to get right into this, man. So what is wrong with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 multiplayer? The beta first initially released in this game in October. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Everything worked well. Everything felt smooth. Everything ran well. It was just a whole different video game in the beta, in my personal opinion. I was playing a completely different Call of Duty. Even with all this specialist crap in it, it felt like Call of Duty. And then, <laughs> obviously, you know, Treyarch hasn't been doing too good over these past couple of years, in my personal opinion. And they tanked this game down fucking hill. People can disagree with me. People can agree with me. The way multiplayer on this game has been playing and how people have been playing it and how it's felt. For me, personally, you can love this game by all means. If you like this game, good for you. That's your shit. This game is fun at times. It is, I'm not going to say it's trash. I'm not going to say it's the worst game ever, but it's also not the best game ever. And that's kind of a damn shame to see because my God, man, it could have been so much better than it is right now. And they took a complete step in the wrong direction and they fucked it up. Let's get right into this though, man. Let's talk about the specialist. Fuck specialist. Everything about specialists in this game are just pathetic. They're stupid. They're not needed. Why put them in the game? I don't know. Black Ops 2 didn't have Specialist. Another Treyarch made game. And that game was unbelievable. They focused on the mechanics of the game. Not the mechanics of these stupid fucking abilities you can have in the battlefield whenever you want. I get variety. though. I do get variety. Okay, I understand that nobody wants to really play something that doesn't have variety to it or doesn't. It, it gets stale after a little bit. But everything gets stale once you play it or grind it too much or... Even in like over time, it will just get stale and there'll be replay value if this is your kind of game. <laughs> like I said, it ain't mine. So I'm going to cut right into this. I'm going to talk about the specialist and why personally I think they're stupid. First off, let's start off with the worst fucking specialist in the history of Call of Duty from Black Ops 3 to Black Ops 4. I don't know shit about Black Ops 3, but let me tell you, I don't think there's anything this bad in Black Ops 3. <laughs> the Torque Shield. Basically... I'm just gonna I'm gonna read a little description and then explain why that isn't even matched to what this specialist actually is. So, Torque builds barricades to reinforce your squad's position while deploying razor wire to funnel the enemy's movements into your team's crossfire. Well, let me tell you, that's not the fucking purpose of it. Believe me when I tell you that's not the fucking purpose of it. You know what the purpose of that is to people? That's locking themselves down in an area of the map that has two entryways. So what I mean is Say you're on frequency, right? And there's that window area. There's the window you can climb through, and there's that back hallway you can come through. There's two ways to get inside of there. Both of these things can lock that down with no problem, and you can just camp in that room on however long you want because they have to push you because there's no way of them getting in like there unless they have a launcher, which nobody runs, by the way, and like grenades, which nobody also runs because you have specialist abilities now. You may have to run frags in here. So, the shield not only serves as a barricade, but it is radioactive. <laughs> it shoots waves of radiation that you can't avoid no matter how hard you try to avoid it. You can't push through it. You can't survive it if you get caught. And even if you do survive it, you are at least at 15 to 10 health or lower. Or lower. That is ridiculous. That should not be a thing. It's a guardian from Black Ops 2 on steroids. It's on fucking roids. It they gave it like its own it's a kill streak essentially. There it's it's pathetic. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to watch that way of the hallway. Somebody like will that's that's your protection. That's all you have to run with the razor wire. Which by the way the razor the razor wire. The shield really really hard to destroy it takes three rockets let alone bullets which is a little bit much but you know it's a shield so i'm gonna cut it some slack but this fucking wire this fucking razor wire right here right there on the screen 
that shit is invincible if you're using a regular gun. It is invincible. It it protects you if you're using it. It hurts players if you run into it. It is literally everything you need from a piece of metal. Amplified times 50. It is pathetic. It is so fucking stupid because nobody uses this the way it's supposed to be used. And it's broken. It's a broken fucking game mechanic. That shield, broken. The razor wire, broken. Take it out of the fucking game. Nobody likes it. Nobody enjoys it. Nobody wants to see anybody sit in one corner of the map and not move. That is pathetic. That is ca that is that is made to cater to the shit players, and that's what's wrong with this game. They cater to absolute fucking ass players. If you don't believe me? Let's go. Let's dive right into the next example. Let's go to zero. Zero is a really really good one. Great job adding this DLC, guys. This is fucking <laughs> this true true Vondahar genius right here. Everybody, Vondahar came up with this idea. All right. So if you run zero. Get a little EMP disruptor. It's a cute little EMP grenade, you know? Everybody's seen it. It's from every Call of Duty up. There's always an EMP. There's always a way to disable your, like, your HUD or whatever. We ain't here to talk about that fucking sorry-ass little grenade, which is still pretty powerful, but it don't do shit. It's not a lethal or anything. We're here to talk about that little fucking laptop, this little fucking computer that you see on the Zero's uh, description. So, hack and disrupt enemies and their equipment, spreading confusion and mayhem as you use their tools against them. What does it mean by tools? Oh, maybe my specialist ability. Oh, maybe my score streaks. Oh, maybe my HUD, my HUD. Maybe my mini map. And maybe like every, like even like healing, everything pretty much, right? You know, maybe it does that. That's exactly what it fucking does. It takes everything from a good player and just cripples you. To a point where you can't play against it if you're running lethal streaks. If you are running a strike team, an attack chopper, and a gunship, and you get all three of those at once, and little Timmy, who's going fucking 2 and 27, got his goddamn fucking special ability, which by the way, special abilities don't work by kills in this game. It, you get them by time. You'll eventually get them over time. It doesn't matter. You'll, you will get them through time, and you can be going. 2 and 27. I've seen it before. I personally got my score streaks hacked when somebody's going 2 and 27 on the other team because they stayed in the lobby and they took the beating and they just wanted to take everything I had and turn it against me. That attack, that attack chopper I mentioned, the strike team and the gunship, that is all theirs now. Theirs. That is theirs. Somebody who's going 2 and 27, that is theirs. They can have a full range of score streaks without making the effort to go get them. It is fucking stupid. It is so dumb. For anybody who's good at this game and puts effort into going for score streaks and high kill games, it just shits on that. It shits on it. If you just want to be an anti and join somebody's game and run zero, you can. What's even worse if you're good with this? If you're actually good at the game and you can run, you run zero. If you die a couple off your streaks, it don't matter. Somebody's gonna get their streaks in the other team eventually, and that's all yours. That is yours. You can make that shit yours. That is stupid. Terrible fucking programming, terrible thinking. I don't know what these game developers are like coming up with. I don't know if they're playing with fucking building blocks or fucking LinkedIn logs, man, when they come, <laughs> when they build the foundation of these games or some shit like that, man. I'm just I'm lost with that. Another one I got really pissed off about is Profit. The Tempest got patched a little bit, got nerfed, thank god. It's really, really fun to use. We have to say it's a lot different. It's fucking awesome. I do have to say it's fun. Fun as fuck to use. They did make the reticle inside of the scope a lot smaller than it is, so it's a lot harder to aim and kill people. So, hey, one step in the right direction, you know? I'm not going to talk about the good in this video, though. Hell no. Let's talk about that little fucking secret drone right there. This drone will kill you 99% of the time if that player that threw the drone is three feet away from you. Doesn't matter if you pull it out of you. Doesn't matter if you let it stay. You will die. You will die. There's a fucking, like, 1% chance you will win that gunfight. It's proven it's there's no point in pressing the x button because even if you do even if you have the reflex to click it something with skill by the way you have the reflex to click that x button it don't matter it still takes like a second or two to pull it out of you just to pull it out of you without even using your gun you're still you still can't use your gun by the way just three or four seconds later you can use your fucking gun i do want to time this one time just to see it but it immobilizes you another way of how this game caters to the absolute fucking stupid that play this game 
<laughs> the absolute stupid. The morons that play this game. The people who don't have thumbs. The people that don't have skill. It doesn't take skill to do that. Like, it's it's so catered to shit players, man. It's ridiculous. Another specialist problem. Nomad. Nerf the dog. Nerf the fucking dog. The thing sprints. It has, like, four times the health bar as you do. I don't know the exact number to the health bar, but god damn. That thing eats. It eats. It eats. It eats. It eats. It eats. And it eats. And it eats. So many bullets. Your whole team could be throwing shots at it. At least two of the six people. If you had your whole entire six man or whatever team you're with, it'd be randoms. Start shooting at that dog. At least two people are dying. Two people are going to die. That thing is on steroids. And not only that, but it's a fourth kill streak. <laughs> if you wanted to run a fourth kill streak, it counts as like an actual kill. So if you get a kill with it, it's 125 points. It's not like 10 points, like the Sniper's Nest or the Strike Team or anything like that. It is its own fucking score streak, and that's the problem with it. Because you don't got to do anything for this either, and you can get your streaks off that. It's another fucking crutch specialist. Everything in this game has some kind of crutch. Everybody already knows about the Ajax 9 thing. I don't got to do go in depth with that. That shit's fucking stupid as well. If you're, your vision, it's not, it's not getting concussioned, right? You're not rattled. You're not... You just can't see. A flashbang is something that is meant to like blind your vision for a temporary amount of time, which is what this does. They got it. They almost got it right. But you can't crouch. You can't prone. You can't move. You can move, but you move very slowly. You can't sprint, I should say. And you, can't, you can barely shoot your gun. You're fucked. 99% of the time again. Another fucking crutch specialist ability. Throw this little fucking grenade, and bam. You're, you're set. You're fucking set. That's all you gotta do. Alright. I wanna get into the big topic of this video, though. This is the main, main problem with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's on the screen. On screen, as you guys see it, that is what is wrong with this game. That is what is wrong with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Right here. Here's your reason. Here's your main reason. Right here. This fucking gun serves... It's a, it's a, it's, it can't be stopped. It's an absolute monster. It overpowers every last gun in the game, whether that's up close or distance. Completely just fucking shreds it. It kills you in two or three bullets. It's an all-around purpose weapon. You could throw tier two attachments on it. Has two of those, two, two, yeah, two tier two attachments on it. That could be either FMJ2 or Extended Mags 2. Extended Mags 2 increases your capacity to 150 bullets in a clip. So if you don't know how to reload, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't have to reload. It has 150 bullets. You don't have to reload. And by the time you do have to reload, you're probably dead by then. If you happen to get caught in your reload cycle. Even if you did want to reload, you probably can. You can reload. It's not that long of a reload time either. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't fucking... That's the shit. I just play the game and play it. But yeah, Extended Max 2, don't gotta reload. And then if you wanted to, you can also throw FMJ2 on there. Which is uh <laughs> something else, man. It's uh really is something else. It shoots down UAVs in about three or four bullets. About two seconds to take down a UAV. And it can also take down pretty much any other score streak helicopter in the game without an issue. No issues. No fucking problem. It serves as a launcher. It serves as a firearm. It serves as a all-purpose weapon. It's it's meant for the new player to do good with. It's meant to be used. It's meant to be completely abused to a point where you do not want to like use any other gun. <laughs> you don't have to use any other gun if you really don't want to. Go use a Titan. Take a word from my take take my word on it. Go use the fucking Titan. Get attachments with it, and you will not want to go use another firearm. In this game, another weapon. You don't have to. You do not. It serves every purpose in the game. Every purpose. Every last single purpose. It's embarrassing. It's two to three shot kill, man. It. There's no purpose in using anything else. There's zero fucking purpose. If you use armor with this gun, I use like if I run it just to run it for shits and gigs, just to see how good I can do with it. If you run armored, you can't lose a gunfight. That's proven. If you can aim at least the slightest bit towards any part of the body. And shoot. Doesn't matter if you shoot first. Doesn't matter if you shoot second. If you have armor on, done. You shred them. You win the gunfight. You cannot die. You can't. It is impossible. It it is like it is so catered to the worst players in the game. It has oh, forgot the most important part. 
zero fucking recoil. It doesn't. It doesn't have recoil. But try it out for yourselves, man. Zero fucking recoil. It's, it's such a joke. Honest to God, it's a joke. One last thing I want to focus on before I do wrap up this video, man. Or actually, a few more things. It's uh, it's one last topic I want to additionally focus on that I thought would be a really really good idea to add into this video before I combine it all together and make this into probably one of my personal best videos I think that I've up uploaded so far on the channel. I think I personally spoke the truth about what's wrong with this fucking game. There's there's a whole lot of other things, but like I'm just gonna cover the main points that really really trigger me this is my opinion this is like what i think what i think is wrong with the game so let's just hop into these additional topics real fast first thing is in the beta 60 hertz servers versus 20 hertz servers give me back 60 hertz i don't care what it takes i the game just runs so choppy it feels so choppy all the time it feels like i lose gunfights because i'm like fucking skipping around and shit it's not my connection man it's nobody's connection everybody's been complaining about lag in this game as of recently and when the game first initially released, they made a huge mistake by just taking the servers and just right down the fucking toilet. Made those things 20 fucking hertz on a game that's supposed to play at 60 hertz. I wish I had footage back from when I first started recording Black Ops 4 on the beta. Because my god, what, did that just run so smooth. Movement was crisp. Everything just feels so fucking stuttery and like jittery and laggy. It's fucking garbage. It's honest to god garbage. On top of that, you got the stale map rotation, you know. All the old maps being brought back. It's like, I already played these maps years ago. How about you fucking get some goddamn motivation and sit down and think of a map that people would like that's different from everything else, that doesn't feel like the same fucking three paths I gotta go every single time. Like, I wonder if... I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna see if you could, like, see the whole entire map layout. You go into, like, private match, maybe? If you go to custom games? Uh, like, I'm gonna play any any map. Any map I want. There's three... Like, with every Call of Duty game, it's no, it doesn't show like the maps. I don't think like the actual like map is just fucking stupid pictures. I'm gonna stay in this lobby, but it's the same three way path every time, and just like spice things up a little bit. Just like make it different. Get creative with it. Start doing shit that you guys wouldn't normally do in order to pull your player base that isn't fucking stupid and moronic. There's no maps to me in this game that stick out. Matter of fact, they're all pretty garbage. You got Contraband, that sucks. Alicia. I don't even know half the maps in this game, to be honest, because I don't remember them, because they're so fucking garbage. They're not worthy. Seaside's terrible. At, there you go. You know what? Prime example. See, same three-way path. You either go down the middle, you go to the right side, or you go to the left side. There's no other way to get around that map. And running through the middle of the map is a goddamn war field, because there's going to be somebody with an LMG in that top block tower with Torque. You can't make it. It's a, it's a death zone. It's a huge fucking death zone. No map variety. Same stale rotation. Another big problem is this game focuses way too much on its blackout scene, which is cool, you know? Like, if you want to touch up, like, if you want blackout to be your thing, if that's what most of the people play it for, by all means, focus on that. But at the same time, don't take all your focus off the multiplayer and put it towards blackout because there's a lot more things that need to be fixed in the multiplayer than versus the blackout. They're not going to listen to me. I'm fucking stupid. I'm not making them money. So you know what? Nothing in the multiplayer is going to get fixed. Matter of fact, it's probably going to be left untouched in a couple months from now. Fucking sad to see, but a lot of these game developers are just kind of, they already made their money. They already did their gig. They're losing motivation. They don't care about the player base, and they're going to lose a lot more people every single day if they don't change shit with the multiplayer. I'm telling you, man, it's it's not a fun. It's not as fun as it was. It's it's different. It's cool, I guess, for some people, but for me, it's just fucking. I'm, slowly fading away from this game and this franchise and it's sad to see oh the battle pass nonsense let me actually go take a look at this shit oh it's another part i want to talk about another big part look at that look at that look at that low time not a long load time to get into your fucking goddamn i hate this I hate this this is pay to win pay to win pay to win by all means possible pay to win this gun Either 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 the Damon or the SWAT. They melt. They melt. They melt. I don't care what the weapon stats say because those are completely irrelevant to the weapon. This thing, when I picked it up with attachments on it, I'm two bursting people across the map with a goddamn SMG. Like, that's not no, that's not normal. This isn't core. This is pay to win. This is pay to win obnoxious garbage. 
I don't care about a goddamn GJ reticle. I care about the mechanics of the game before any of this battle pass. I'm not going to bother going in more depth with this topic because I don't know how it fully works. I just know it's a complete fucking scam and it's a waste of time. So anybody who puts money into this, you stop. Because I guarantee if you do stop, they'll actually fix the game before they'll touch any of this shit ever. This is pathetic. This is a shitty version of the Fortnite battle pass. Like, who cares about what you look like in battle? No, you're going to see your opponent for two seconds. And that, you're in a first person, you're not in third person like Fortnite. You're in first person. So like, would you kill somebody? And they leave the game? Or they do whatever the fuck? You only see him once. You see him one time, and guess what? That's it. it. That's that's the wrap. That's the end of that. That's the end of the fucking battle pass. Another huge issue: score streaks in terms of like the points to get them. I remember the good old days in Call of Duty where it took three fucking kills to get a UAV. Black Ops One, Modern Warfare Two, Modern Warfare Three. If you ran like a support UAV or an assault UAV, support UAV was four kills. That's fine. Regular assault UAV, three kills. Three kills in a row. All you had to get for a UAV, and that lasted thirty seconds. Versus 15 seconds. The score streaks in this game, too weak. No variety. Don't feel like running any of the lethals because of zero. It's like, you run this and you're, that's all you're going to run. If you really, really like want to get around the map quick and see people and shit like that. Carry packages take way too long to land in. Dart, I've never used it. Fucking useless. Sentry shit. Hellstorm is extremely overpowered. Only good streak that's really left in this game. Lightning strike got nerfed to fucking oblivion. Yeah, the RCXD sucks. Score streaks, they take too many points to get them, and they suck too much fucking dick. So that's that for the score streaks. Uh, lack of updates in this game, man. They, the weekly updates, they did really good with that until recently. It's been two weeks. For Xbox players, it's two weeks to get the updates. The updates aren't updates. They're fucking, they're just little cosmetic fucking fun little money fucking rich kids put money into this shit. By all means, go ahead. That's your gig fucking split. I don't care. Stupid. You're super expensive cosmetics and then one last thing yeah this is it this is a this is a, like actually one of the big topics i mentioned at the circle or actually I have two more one of them add a fucking vsat i'm gonna keep it simple i'm gonna keep it real you have the blackbird and black ops one you have the hater on black ops three you have the orbital vsat and black ops two and you're not gonna add anything to help see where players are where people hide from that because you don't want people to die when there's a fucking vsat in the air because they know where you are Pathetic. Add a fucking VSAT. Add a VSAT. That's really... You have people fucking tweeting at you. You stupid bald fuck. You bald cunt. Listen to the people who play your game still. You have thousands of people. Dozens dozens of people on my fucking team that have already, like, in my clan, in my fucking group, that have already tweeted at this fucking bald fucking idiot. And he won't add a VSAT into the game. That would be so good. Add a VSAT. Better radar. Anything. Anything that isn't recon. Recon isn't a VSAT. Recon is not a VSAT. You're stupid if you think recon's a VSAT. It is not. It is not a fucking VSAT. Don't call it a VSAT. Pathetic. Terrible effort. You should add something. The VSAT and the Blackbird and the Hater. All classic score streaks in this game. What really brought Black Ops 2 out was the VSAT itself. I'm not going to talk about that no more. Last thing with this video. And this one's simple. This one speaks for itself. First shot, first motherfucking death. You shoot first, you die first. Hey, don't remember that from Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare 2. You shot somebody, they died. They fucking fell to the ground because they were injured, and you, you shot first. You, you won the gunfight. You killed them. You shot them first. You, you outplayed them. You can't, like, it's so easy to turn on people in this game. I'll make a fucking turn on montage of, like, the past two days. I've had 15 of them. 15 turn-ons. Because all you gotta do is stick your little fucking needle in yourself, turn around, shoot them. Not even. You can still snap onto people, even if they're not healing. Or you're not healing. It doesn't matter. First shot, first death. Bring that back. Core isn't fun. There's no point in playing core. You shoot somebody first and they don't die. Pathetic. The reheal shit's stupid. Everything about it. 150 health, stupid. Go back to 100. Health regeneration changes the whole entire tempo of the game. All well, that shit regenerate over time. Makes you feel more scared. I feel so confident getting shot. <laughs> Imagine saying that out loud. I feel so confident getting shot. I can just run back and shoot a needle into my arm. And I'm healed. And pathetic. Pathetic, pathetic game mechanics. Game sucks. I killed it.
they absolutely murdered it. If you guys don't agree with me, just like the video. I don't fucking care. If you guys agree with me, like the video, share it with friends, man. This is really it for me. Hope you guys did enjoy this like it's 25 plus minute video, man. If you guys stuck around for the whole entire thing, you guys are the real ones. Appreciate the support, man. I'm coming back to this like game in terms of uploading it to YouTube. It's stale. Treyarch, if you see this shit by some freaking miracle, you guys have done great in the past, but you really, really took this game and just sent it down the fucking shit. Hope y'all enjoy this one, man. It's Ben Hamilton. I'm out. Peace, fellas.